This year has seen the launch of some incredible multi-effects units. My name's Lucas Gab, and I'm with Gear for Music Guitars and today we're going to look at our top five. Let's dive into it. So first up we have the super affordable and user-friendly Boss ME90. This is definitely an early contender as it was released on New Year's Eve and what a better way to start a year than a new Boss drop. So the Boss pedal has all you'd expect from Boss, all the classic effects, you know, the reverbs, the mods, the delays, loads of amp sims, but it's in one compact unit. It's in a metal housing, so you know it can withstand being thrown in a bag, you know, taken on the road. And it also has a volume expression pedal, which you can use to control with your foot for wires and volume and such. It has a super, super cool feature as well, which means it can be battery powered. So if you take this and you're a busker, it means that you can throw a battery in it. Or if there's no power at the front of stage, you've got a battery in it, you're ready to go. It also has an easy adjustment feature, which means that if you need to get to a particular sound or create a sound on the fly, you can do this really, really easily and it's going to get you out of a tight spot in a jam situation. So let's take a listen to how it sounds. So next up we have the Tonex, and the Tonex is a particular favourite of mine. This actually comes in at a very, very affordable price point for what it does. So it's maybe a little bit less heavy on the effects side than the previous unit, but what this delivers in amp modelling is uncomparable. So the Tonex has the ability to connect this to a computer and use the Tonex network to capture and share amps. So you can have a vintage amp at home, you can capture this and you can upload this and put this onto this tiny compact unit down here. This means that say your friend has an amp and wants to share this with you, that can be done as well. So the possibilities are really endless in terms of this. Not only that, the amp modelling sounds fantastic. I actually had a chance to get hands on with this earlier in the year. So if you check the description, you'll be able to find a link to that video and you can learn more about the Tonex there. So next up is the Boss GX100. Although this was released last year, I definitely think it's worth mentioning as it acts as a kind of big brother to the ME90. So like the ME90, it features all of your classic Boss effect. But the most noticeable difference here is the amp modeling. The amp modeling on this thing sounds fantastic. So the Boss GX100 also has integrated Bluetooth, which allows you to connect to the Boss Tone Studio app, which means you can control your presets and build presets from your phone. Additionally, you can also do this from your desktop, which is super helpful if you're sat at home and you've got your unit on the floor and you don't want to be bending over and messing around. The GX100 features a large touchscreen, which makes it super, super user-friendly for building sounds and adjusting signals. It also has a robust housing, a volume expression pedal, and similarly to the ME90, it's very, very compact. The MIDI integration on the back of this makes it perfect for putting on a pedal board and using in collaboration with other MIDI-enabled pedals. Another great feature is you can use this as an audio interface which means if you've perfected your tone, if you love what it sounds like live, you can use this directly into your computer and record without having to use any additional software or hardware units. So the next multi-effects unit might look like a futuristic surfboard, but do not be fooled, it is the Headrush Prime. And when you're packing in all the features that this guy's got, you need to make a statement. So when the Headrush Prime was announced earlier in the year, there was one feature that had everybody talking. The ability to capture and model your own amps and pedals. This means you're not limited to what is included in this unit when you first buy it. You can expand this to your heart's content. I mean, there's already tons of amazing amps and effects in here anyway, so it's really Toys R Us for guitarists. Out of all the effects units we've looked at so far today, the Headrush Prime definitely has the most user-friendly interface. As you can see, it's got a massive touchscreen here, and honestly, it's as simple as using your phone. So jumping on this and creating an amazing tone is really, really simple. So as I mentioned earlier on, this really does have more features than just being a guitar effects processor. It also packs in loads of vocal processing options. It even has Antares Auto-Tune built into this, which is incredible. I've not seen this before on a pedal. This means it's going to be absolutely perfect for, you know, solo artists or people looking to use just one unit for their entire show. Say you're busking, for example, or even if you're putting on events in pubs and clubs, 
you could use this to run everything. You could run your vocals through it, you could run your guitar through it. And I think that is amazing. Similar to a lot of the other units, it also features MIDI integration. It has loads of different inputs and outputs, which means you can connect this any way you want. It also has little LED indicators, which are super useful if you're playing in dark venues, and little scribble strips, which you can customize to put the name of the patches and the effects and any of the presets that you want to control. So we had a chance to jump in and get a little bit more in depth with this unit earlier in the year. So if you want to see my friend Adam, check this out, hit the link and you can find out more about the Headrush Prime. I'm going to be honest, something I didn't have on my bingo card for this year was Fender entering into the flagship modeling market. But here we are, we have the Towmaster Pro, and what we need to find out is does it stack up against its competition? So the first thing you'll notice is the heart of this unit is based around this huge LED touchscreen, which is unbelievably user-friendly. Similar to the Headrush Prime, but it has a few little features which for me personally take the cake. Little things like when you adjust the parameters here, you can see the actual knobs turn, which I think just shows the attention to detail they've paid with this unit. Fender didn't want to release a product and kind of just be okay. You could tell that they wanted to release a product and be the best. So we've looked at various multi-effects units today, and all of these units are fantastic within their own right. They all have hundreds of different amps, loads of different effects, and various different connectivity. But the Towmaster Pro has something super unique. This is the first time that we're hearing classic Fender amps such as Deluxe Reverb, the EVH5150, and they are modeled by Fender. So we're hearing amps that are modeled by the same people who actually built the physical units. And that is a very, very exciting prospect. I've put together a really quick tone. So let's jump in and see how it sounds. So there you have it. There's our top five multi-effects units from this year. And there's definitely something for everyone ranging from beginner to touring professional. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe and stick around for more videos from Gear for Music Guitars. See you next time.